Welcome back, Etna's Gone Crazy. We got a new series of paroxysms, got lava flow from the southeast crater, and an ash plume to 23,000 feet yesterday. Um, so the unstable activity at the volcano continues over the past couple of weeks or so. A new lava fountaining episode, likely classified as a paroxysm, took place from the southeast crater yesterday. Visibility of the eruptive phase was very limited due to dense clouds, but the Sentinel-3 satellite detected a huge gray ash bloom showing an umbrella region as the top of the as the top of the column. The back center, well the back to Laos reported spewing ash to an out to an estimated seven kilometer altitude drifting towards the southwest. Um, now note the 23,000 foot plume. The volcano has a elevation just under 11,000 feet. So that means the plume was itself was I want to say 12,000 feet. Um but yeah. Anyways, following the paroxysm eruption, a new lava flow started to overflow the southeast crater's rim and descend over the western flanks due to poor weather conditions. The lava flow front current position was impossible to detect. Then, later on, the observatory's thermal surveillance cameras could catch a glimpse of the lava flow. Proceeding to the eruption, uh, proceeded to the eruption, the INGV recorded another sharp spike of tremor at 5.20 a.m. local time yesterday. High volumes of amplitude ground vibrations continued by 9.35 a.m. local time. When it decreased rapidly to average medium levels, the activity stabilized at about 10 a.m. local time. The tremor was seen, has been located beneath the southeast crater at an altitude of 2,500 meters or 2.5 kilometers. An infrasound analysis to localize an eruption corresponded to an area between the Ruragin and Boca Nuova, uh, Nuova craters. Soon after the eruption, a moderately strong ash fall of Lapilli scoria from the ongoing paroxysm occurred on the southwest flanks. The volcano's the eruption's plume affected the southwestern areas of the volcano and caused an interruption to flights at the Catania airport. Um, so yeah, this is one of those cases where you might want to mask up to keep the ash out of your lungs. And just stay away from the volcano um, and just stay safe out there. Let's hope this volcano doesn't pull a Vesuvius. And yeah, see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.